Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Jody, and if you're a subscriber of mine, thanks so much for coming back and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel and you love perfume and you also love makeup, then this is the channel for you. I do makeup reviews, perfume reviews, and it's just everything that I'm obsessed with. And so if this is something that you enjoy as well, then definitely hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. And every time I upload a new video, then you will be notified. So today's video, I'm so excited about it. It is a niche fragrance and it is by Joe Malone. I'm gonna go over some things about Joe Malone, uh, the fragrance house, and also um, the perfume that I'm actually reviewing today is the Blackberry and Bay Cologne. Yes, it's called a cologne. So if this is something that you're interested in, just definitely keep watching and let's go ahead and jump right into the review of Joe Malone's Blackberry and Bay. This is Joe Malone's signature box. It has a grow green ribbon wrapped around it. Makes it really unique. And Joe Malone is a fragrance company that started in 1994. Joe Malone has 27 colognes in the fragrance arc, 48 markets worldwide, and 400 scent combinations. The top notes are blackberry and grapefruit. The heart notes are bay leaf, floral accord, and the base notes are vetiver and cedar. Okay, so this is the actual perfume right here. This is the one ounce bottle. Um, the niche fragrances are a little more pricier and I wanna say this one was like around $68. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna leave a, a link down below. I actually got this on beautylish.com. I buy a lot of things from Beautylish. I love it, you get it in just a few days. So I will leave a link down below, but I believe you can get this also at like Sephora, joemalone.com. But that's, this is actually where I picked up my fragrance. At first, when you spray it, because, you know, when I hear Blackberry and Bay, I think fresh, fruity, you know, those kinds of fragrances. Something that's very loud and, you know, fruity. <laughs> but that's not the case here. So let me tell you, when I first sprayed this, perfume or cologne. The first thing that I actually smelled was evidently the bay, the like the bay leaf, the green note in it. It just reminded me of leafy, you know, green, um, hearty kind of fragrance. And I thought, oh no, this is not for me. No, 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 no. I'm not one to like fresh cut grass and you know those kinds of fragrances i'm just more of a i like more sweeter fruitier floral scents um, if you watch my channel you kind of get a vibe of what i like and i just thought you know i'd heard so many reviews about this blackberry bay and how it smelled like blackberries and it was just so yummy da, 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 da. at the very beginning it almost seemed like it was more manly of a fragrance than a feminine fragrance but as it dries down it smells so good it's you can smell the the blackberry and it's like going out into a field and picking blackberries I don't know if you've ever done that but it's just something that that is exactly what it reminds me of and also it has some little zestiness to it it has grapefruit in it it's just <laughs> it's just so unexpected but it it it's not something that's very loud and obtrusive or intrusive or you know something that's actually going to like when you walk into a room they're not going to actually smell you it's not it's not very like um it doesn't have a loud you know like a projection like a very loud projection or anything like that it lays close on the skin and but it's something that i can smell and that i can enjoy 
and it's just so it's like a home feeling like you know a cozy homey feeling and I just love it I just absolutely love it it's it may not be something for you it's definitely something different it is a niche fragrance this is not like a big designer fragrance I don't know it's just very different and I really really enjoy it and I sprayed it right before I started filming and it's going to that place where it just it just feels so warm and inviting it makes your heart feel good when you smell this it just that's what it does to me now everybody's different everybody seems to you know have a different opinion about fragrances and what my opinion is may not be your opinion and that is perfectly fine like I've enjoyed the comments in my videos where people are kind of debating on what I like I enjoy uh, things that I'm recommending and yeah I recommend this fragrance but that's my personal opinion I like it I enjoy it it's very hard it's a little bit different than makeup because it's very hard for you to get a feel or get a, a you know a vibe or a scent of these fragrances on video so I encourage you to go like to your local Sephora get a sample you know bring it home try it see if you like it Jo Malone has different um, fragrances so the next one that I want I think there's one it's called gin it's got ginger in it it's called biscuit or ginger biscuit or something like that but it sounds like something that I would enjoy right now I'm smelling this it smells absolutely incredible and like I said it's very close to the skin so you're gonna have to get into my space to enjoy it as much as I do <laughs> so like my husband you know if you get into close proximity if you work you know close to your co-workers or something and this is something that you could definitely wear to work this is something that you can wear in the summertime, in the spring and summertime. It just is a really, really beautiful fragrance. It lays on the skin really beautifully. And I highly recommend you go out and try this fragrance. And I just can't say enough about it. It, to me, it's just very, um, it does have that fruitiness. You can definitely smell that blackberry and that grapefruit. And you can definitely get the bay leaf at the very beginning of it. So it's just, I love it so I hope that you go out you try it for yourself and if you do of course let me know so that is my review it's kind of short and sweet and I wanted to kind of make it short and sweet I don't want to just keep going on and on and on and babble 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 and just kind of say the same things but I hope you're enjoying my reviews I hope that you continue to watch my channel and if there are any reviews that you would like me to do just let me know in the comments down below if you own this fragrance let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, if you do like it, what do you love about it? Or if you don't like it, why? Just, I love the feedback from you guys. I enjoy chatting with you. And I have met some incredible people on, you know, on YouTube just doing these perfume videos. And I'm really enjoying it. My makeup lovers, I'm definitely going to be doing some makeup videos. I'm not forgetting about makeup. I love some makeup. Trust me. Look at my face. I love makeup. Okay. <laughs> um, but I, it's just, you know, perfume. I've always been passionate about perfume. And I just thought I would definitely start incorporating these videos. I'm just trying to boost my channel. Get, you know, my hands on everybody that I can get it, my hands on and let them know that I love perfume, I love makeup, and I want my channel to grow. I want my channel to do things that, you know, I never thought possible. So, and it's not about the numbers, it's about connecting with people. And that's what I've been doing, and that's what I've been enjoying the most. If you are one of my subscribers, or if you just watched my video, and you comment, I get that directly on my phone and I try to comment right back I mean this has been like all you know because I'm a night owl I stay up all night but and then I work during the day so it's like do I ever sleep I don't know <laughs> but it's like as soon as you comment it's like I get so excited and I try to comment right back now I know as my channel grows if I get more subscribers it's gonna be more difficult for me but I'm going I want to try to keep that 
you know, open communication with my subscribers and my viewers. That's what I think is very personal. You know, there's a lot of YouTubers that they can't do it because they have millions of subscribers and I understand that. So they kind of pick through who they can talk to. And right now my channel is very small and I'm able to do that one-on-one. -on -one. And so while I'm able to do that, that's what I plan to do. And I hope you're enjoying that. And I hope you're loving to chat and talk with me as well. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. I love it so much. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.